Despite Dominion marking the quote unquote end of the franchise, the 30th anniversary of the first movie seems to have kept the fire going at Universal, with three new Jurassic projects now on the horizon and potentially even more being considered. The story continues this year with Jurassic World Chaos Theory, an animated follow-up to the Netflix series Camp Cretaceous, which is currently rumoured for a June release. This show will pick up in the mainland United States after the events seen in Fallen Kingdom and will continue the story through the events seen in Dominion and possibly even a bit after that. Not only that, a triple A survival video game is finally in the works. Jurassic Park Survival takes us back to 1993 where we'll play as Dr. Maya Joshi stranded at the park. The game was unexpectedly announced last December and is somewhat promising to be the game that we have always wanted. If you had wanted the franchise to enter a dormant phase, then bad luck comes in threes. No 15 year drought this time. I don't want to wait anymore. A new movie has also been announced, meaning the story continues not only on the small screen, but on the big screen as well. Little is known about Jurassic World 4, but David Kep will be writing and the studio are eyeing up a 2025 release. The future of the franchise is somehow looking quite bright. While we are cautiously optimistic about any new Jurassic project, the current landscape is looking very exciting and with a TV series, a video game and a new movie on the way, the Jurassic World franchise isn't going anywhere. In this video, we're going to run down what we know about all three upcoming Jurassic World projects and share why we think the future is bright for Jurassic Park. Welcome back to Jurassic Outpost, let's jump in. This video has been broken down into three parts, Chaos Theory, Jurassic Park Survival, and the new sequel. You can use the time codes in the description to skip to a particular point in the video. Starting off with the first of the three, the animated sequel series Camp Cretaceous is getting a follow-up. The animated series left our screens a little while ago now, but the story continues this year with Chaos Theory. The official synopsis states, after the park has closed, after the kingdom has fallen, a new era of chaos begins. The announcement trailer revealed to us that Darius is returning and his visual appearance and age in the trailer gives us a hint as to the timeline of the new show and when it takes place in relation to the timeline of Camp Cretaceous. It seems Chaos Theory will take place or begin at some point after Fallen Kingdom and before Dominion, at least sometime around and after the helicopter T-Rex chase seen in the trailer. The show seems to have a focus on dinosaurs on the mainland, closely leading up to the events of Jurassic World Dominion. As the campers are now a lot older, we're expecting the show to be a little more mature than its predecessor, and we think this gives a lot of good opportunity for the story to progress naturally forward. Given the timeline, we fully expect the show could tackle subjects like dinosaur poaching, black markets, biosyn, and perhaps even the locusts, which at this time would have been beginning to appear at different locations around the globe. These locusts in Nebraska are about to wrap it up. They're eating the corn, wheat, basically all of our food and our food's food, so we can say goodbye to this. Other rumors have suggested that the Atrociraptors from Dominion will be appearing in the show, which perhaps will allow us to have a greater understanding of who created these designer dinos and see what else they were making. While we don't see the other campers in the trailer, we do expect most of them to return. The voice actor for Ben shared and then deleted a tweet about the show, which had fans speculating about his involvement. We think there's a strong case for Ben's return, but not only that, we tackled a theory about Brooklyn's return in a previous video, and we think, honestly, that in Chaos Theory, we're going to be seeing all of the new Blast 6 on screen again. The show is releasing at some point this year, and all signs are pointing to June. While we do not know for sure, you can expect to hear more about Chaos Theory very soon. At the tail end of last year, Saber Interactive announced Jurassic Park Survival, an upcoming video game set the day after the events seen in 1993's Jurassic Park. The video game is currently in development for PC, PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S. Explore Isla Nublar and face terrifying dinosaurs in this thrilling single player action adventure game set just after the events of the iconic Jurassic Park film. 
The unveiling came alongside a trailer for the game which featured a cinematic sequence introducing us to the main character, Dr. Maya Joshi, and showing us some of the returning iconic and fan favorite dinosaurs. Players will take on the role of Dr. Maya Joshi, an InGen scientist who was unable to evacuate the island. They'll be challenged to survive an intense mix of first person stealth and action in thrilling encounters with dinosaurs, each with their own distinct and adaptive behaviors. Players will be able to dive into a lush world full of wonder, mystery and danger as two species separated by 65 million years come face to face in an all new adventure. We are so excited to be finally receiving the game we always thought Jurassic Park deserved, and the trailer showed us that the developers are staying true to the origins of the franchise. In the game, you will play as Dr. Maya Joshi, an InGen scientist who was left behind on Isla Nublar in the immediate aftermath of the events seen on screen in Jurassic Park. Dr. Joshi was working at the park, but for some reason missed the last ferry back to the mainland and is now trapped on the island alone. In the trailer, we meet a seemingly already wounded Maya who stumbles through the iconic visitor center while evading a Dilophosaurus. She stumbles through the infamous Jurassic Park kitchen before running back into the jungle. Attached to her belt, we see a walkie talkie and a flare, and we think this ties into what we know about the stealth based gameplay. We don't expect to be shooting dinosaurs much in this game, instead evading and distracting them with different tools. The website tells us that Maya was unable to evacuate the island, which could hint at her character already being in some sort of trouble ahead of the park breaking down. This raises some interesting questions. What exactly caused Maya to miss the boat and become stranded on the island? How did she end up completely alone? And is she actually alone? What is the story? These questions have us very excited for the game. We know that all of the dinosaurs seen in Jurassic Park will be returning in this game, but will it be a full open world experience? The announcement tells us, adventure through a fully realized Isla Nublar filled with reactive wildlife, dinosaurs and other surprising threats. From the iconic towering park gates to the visitor center and beyond, Jurassic Park comes alive like never before. While the wording doesn't fully confirm the game as being open world, it does confirm that the island as a whole has been constructed and will likely be explorable by the player. There are two paths the game could take, first the open world route and we are hoping that this is the case, or the game could choose a more linear path like the more recent Tomb Raider games that give you an open world experience but in closed off segments with well hidden barriers. The iconic park gates, the visitor center and the raptor paddock are all returning and will be explorable in this game. The trailer alone showed us a number of iconic sites including the helipad, the t-rex paddock and various parts of the visitor center complex. But not only will these iconic locations be present in the game, locations we didn't see in the movie and have yet to visit in subsequent installments will be accessible to the player, allowing you to truly roam the grounds of Jurassic Park. We can only imagine what secrets are waiting for us in the jungle. <laughs> game has an early provisional rating of Peggy 16 which allows for the game to feature more mature and realistic violence against human characters. The game may deal heavily with death and injury to humans. Gory and bloody violence may be included at a Peggy 16 level but only if the game is arcade style. Jurassic Park Survival really does appear to be the game that we have always wanted, and we hope that it really does live up to those expectations. We will be learning more about the game this year, so stay tuned to the Jurassic Outpost channel for more. <laughs>
Steven Spielberg executive produces the movie under his Amblin Entertainment banner and as we mentioned the screenplay is being written by David Kep, who wrote the screenplays for both Jurassic Park and The Lost World. <laughs> The article also reveals that Executive VP of Production Development Sarah Scott and Creative Executive of Production Development Jacqueline Garrett will oversee the project for Universal. It is unclear what form the relaunch is taking. It is known to be launching a new Jurassic era per sources with an all new storyline that would seem to rule out the return of the characters played by Jurassic World stars Chris Pratt and Bryce Dallas Howard. And it seems characters featured in the original Jurassic Park movies played by Sam Neill, Laura Dern and Jeff Goldblum would not be involved. The fact that it's being called a new Jurassic World instead of Jurassic Park may also be telling. That would suggest that the franchise is likely not taking a back to basics approach but could go to parts unknown. The franchise is officially headed into a new era, whatever that might be. The possibilities are currently quite open and varied for where the story could go, and while many are hoping that we see a direct sequel to Dominion, we do believe that this will be starting something new and take us into a world post-Dominion. But that might not be the case, of course. Until we learn more about this movie, we won't know which direction they are headed, whether that's backwards or forwards. Whatever the story, we couldn't be more excited that David Kep is writing it. Actress Bryce Dallas Howard was asked if she'd like to return, and while she did state that she would return to play Claire if asked, Bryce hopes the franchise welcomes new characters and new storytellers. So you would but, go back, you're not saying you want to move on from it? Yeah, no, I mean, I, I absolutely would, but I, I also, like, I, I yearn for the franchise to expand and, yeah. and to see, you know, new generations of actors be a part of that. Brian Cranston has shared his interest in the sequel, stating that he would love to be in Jurassic World, which we covered in our last video. Would you like exactly. to be part of Jurassic oh, World? I would love to be a part of <laughs> Jurassic World. I love those movies. Also, paleontology consultant Dr. Steve Brusati is returning to assist the filmmakers of the next Jurassic World. The actor shared his return via Twitter, showing that this movie really is in active development. It's happening, the reports are true, a new Jurassic World film is in the works, and I'll be back as consultant helping the movie makers get a pulse on what we really know about dinosaurs. He contributed important dinosaur and creature insights on Jurassic World Dominion and is a great educator, author and communicator. This announcement affirms that some thrilling prehistoric counters are in store for audiences in the next movie. Currently we don't know who's set to direct, but it can be assumed that the producers have a short list of potential directors. Who would you like to see direct Jurassic World 4? It's okay. It's okay. It's coming back! And that just about covers it. Not too much is known about the three upcoming Jurassic World projects, but one thing is for certain, the future is looking bright. I've shared my thoughts on the Jurassic World movies in prior videos, and there does seem to be a bit of a recurring statement made by fans of the franchise. We want a return to form. The Jurassic World movies introduced a lot to the lore of Jurassic, and they told new stories, they introduced new characters, and they modernized the franchise, but has it worked? Commercially, the franchise is very successful, but critically, there are issues that need to be addressed. Hiring David Kep to develop and write the screenplay is a step in the right direction. A survival adventure game set in 1993 is a step in the right direction. And an animated series that continues to tell the Jurassic World story while expanding on the characters and events contained within is a step in the right direction. Jurassic as a whole at the moment is headed in an exciting and intriguing direction, and we are cautiously optimistic. The ingredients are all there. The fans are, for the most part, eager and waiting for more. Let's just hope they don't mess it up. The shutdown must have turned off all offenses. <laughs> Damn it, even I you knew better than to mess with a raptor fan here. Come on, this way. Which of the three upcoming Jurassic World projects are you most excited for? Are you eager to craft your own adventure in Jurassic Park survival, or are you dreaming of what David Kep might bring back to Jurassic? As always, share your thoughts below. We love hearing what you have to say, and thank you for watching this video. We will catch you in the next one.